first it was Gia from Miss A and JYP. Then it was Minzy from 21 from YG. And now it's 4 Minute and Cube. Oh man, you can you can definitely feel that a new era of K-pop is actually, you know, coming in. Now, if you haven't heard the news, reports came out about a few days ago that said that all of the members except Hyuna have terminated their contracts with Cube Entertainment. And that Hyuna is the only one that re-signed with Cube and thus initially making her a solo artist. And even though I'm not the biggest fan of 4Minute, mostly being that I still don't know all the members' names. I know Hyuna, Gayun, and that's basically about it, but also that I recently just got into K-pop at the, probably at the beginning of the year. But it should also be noted that I really love the Crazy Mini Album and the Hate Mini Album. I love those two mini albums there. Every time they come on, it's nothing but jams, and I dig that. But I can sympathize with all the fans for for a minute just because you know as a fan of a you know of artists you know you want your artists to continue making music or continue making whatever they're making as long as they can and you know just keep on making it because since you know you're a fan of them for a reason and it's totally understandable that it sucks right now just because the news came out as recently but maybe you know it's not that bad of a thing. And before this video gets disliked into oblivion, I just want to say it's not that I'm like hating on 4 Minute. I'm just, you know, trying to be optimistic and saying maybe it's a good thing that they're, you know, that they're disbanding now. Let's look at the facts or at least everything I found on Wikipedia. That being, you know, they debuted in 2009 and over between 2009 and 2016, you know, they have accumulated over 23 music show wins, which is pretty good and not only that but they also won seven awards and let's not forget when four minute beat both 21 and girls generation together on the same stage like out when i heard about that and when i went to go watch it i was like bam that's incredible that four minute a company you know a group coming from cube which is not part of the big three but you know they're still you know up there or at least they were up there i'll get into that later but they beat you know two girl groups from one of the from two of the out of the big three and that's that's just incredible and it would have been totally awesome if you know kate the, you know four minutes latest comeback was a huge success in korea and you know it would allow them to you know move on you know move on as a group and you know have that as their, their last big thing and they were successful with it obviously that didn't happen because you know four minute themselves said if hate wasn't successful they will probably disband and they disband, which sucks because I was watching a few performances uh, of Four Minute when they were, you know, performing at a few universities in K in Korea, excuse me. And you know, I, you know, I thought, hey, and this was like probably probably at least a month ago. I was like, yeah, look at them promoting. That probably means that they're not breaking up, right? They're not disbanding. Oh man, how wrong was I? <laughs> My main point being is that they were successful as a group and it was time for them to move on. And hopefully all the ladies of 4 Minute left on good terms with one another is something I wish I can say because according to Netizen Buzz, all of the ladies of uh, 4 Minute who are on Instagram, which is I believe all of them, they all unfollowed Hyuna because like I said earlier, Hyuna is the only one who renewed her contract with 4 Minute. And I'll leave the Netizen blog article down in the description box below but you know maybe there's a reason for all the ladies you know unfollowing Hyuna and at this point I just want to know that I'm just grasping at straws I have no idea what's going down and I'm assuming you guys don't know what's going down either unless you know you're the ladies of four minute themselves watching this which would be crazy but I doubt that. One of my crazy theories is that maybe all of the ladies of 4 Minute had a game plan. Is that like they'll either all sign together or they're all, you know, resign together. And uh, maybe Huna just didn't go along with that or maybe something happened. Or my other crazy theory, which is my more optimistic theory. And that being is that maybe the ladies of 4 Minute just don't want to be reminded of something that once was. And just want to move on with their lives. And there's another crazy theory out there that this, this one isn't mine. And that's that Cube only offered Hyuna to renew her contract and didn't offer the other four ladies of 4 Minute uh, to renew their contract. But, and uh, maybe that's why. But not all is lost. The ladies of 4 Minute, you know, they decided that they aren't stepping out of the limelight. Exactly. They are going to continue working in the entertainment industry. I believe two of them are going towards acting while the other two are looking towards, you know, being, you know, a music producer and, you know, still probably writing music just with a different 
company. Now, I don't remember their names exactly because I don't remember where I read this article. I'll try to find it when I'm editing this video in post. But uh, hopefully I'll find it and, you know, put their pictures as I mentioned them earlier. But yeah, now with 4 Minute disbanded, the only girl group Cube has now is COC. And uh, right now, I don't think Cube knows what they're doing with them. Because they obviously didn't know what they were kind of doing with, you know, with 4 Minute either. And, you know, with COC, I just feel like it's worse. And, again, note that I'm not saying that COC is horrible and, you know, they're not my favorite group. That's actually the opposite. COC is probably my top, you know, three of the new rookie girl, not new, but, you know, the rookie girl groups. But, yeah, here's hoping that Cube gets their act together so their artists can succeed. Especially COC because in terms of popularity, COC, you know, they're not the most popular groups. It's obviously, like, twice and then it's like Red Velvet, and then they're, I don't, is Red Velvet still a rookie? It's been like two years, right? Because they debuted in 2014. But, you know, it's like twice G Friend. That's the only two of the main ones that I think as of right now. But there's other girl groups like Oh My Girl, and then there's, you know, La Boom, and then, you know, there, there's other girl groups too, but they aren't coming to my mind at the moment. But yeah, that's everything I want to talk about in this video. Let me know what your thoughts of 4 Minute Disbanding down in the comments below. You know, let, also let me know what's your favorite track by them. But with all that being said, I'll see you guys all next time, whenever that is. I have no idea, but until then, bye bye